there's some wonderful seasonal poetry around, like this one by my old mate Ian McMillan. I keep my snowman in the freezer, just behind the pies. He likes it there, he told me so. I can see it in his eyes. Well, I've been sharing that one and a lot more besides with some of the children at St Albans Primary School. As children's laureate, I've become something of a poetry missionary, visiting schools all over the country. I want to do all I can to help parents, teachers and children enjoy poetry together. So instead of treating it as this rather cold stuff that we have to dissect, I'm trying to reconnect it with performance and pleasure. And then you put that thumb on the end of that finger and then you get that finger and put it on the end of your thumb and you've got a window. No, 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 no. I know what it is, it's a telly. <laughs> tell you what, you can put your cheek on the telly and that programme is called Don't Be Cheeky. <laughs> and that programme could be called The Six O'Clock Nose. <laughs> I think what they really love is doing the, the actions and also um, it was, I thought it was amazing how quickly they could pick up the poems. This is the hand that touched the frost that froze my tongue Ow! and made it go numb. This is the hand that cracked the nut that went in my mouth and never came out. Oh. <laughs> I often think poetry is a very physical thing, isn't it? It's physical because you can do actions with it, but also even rhyming and the rhythms of them. Yeah. It's a very physical thing. Isn't Definitely. It? Something's plastic, something's plastic. My nose is made of plastic. Something's plastic, something's plastic. My ears are elastic. Something's plastic, something's plastic. I'm fantastic! I'm fantastic! Love. You can just, you can just